Hey everybody, welcome back into North Dakota today. Well, dozens of middle and high school teams from across the United States and Canada will be going medal to medal, rubber to rubber, I don't even know what all, as <laughs> they compete November 1st through the 2nd in a VEX Robotics signature event in the Alara Center in Grand Forks. Talking about this exciting event today are Brian Tandy, the University of North Dakota's Dean of the College of Engineering and Mines, Killian Erickson, founder and CEO of Bifrost Manufacturing, and Andrew Dolan, a mechanical engineering lecturer at UND. Hey guys. Hello. Yo, Hello. I'm happy to have you here to talk about this exciting event. So I guess UND and Bifrost Manufacturing are co-sponsors of this event. But can you tell me first, Andrew, what is exactly involved in a VEX Robotics competition? Well, every year, the Game Design Committee comes up with a new challenge. Mm -hmm. This year, the, the challenge is called High Stakes. And we have to put these uh, donuts or rings mm -hmm. onto the stakes. And then some of the stakes are mobile, and they can scooch them around the field, and they can uh, add to their score and subtract from their score depending on where they're placed. And then they also have a large ladder structure in the middle of the arena and the robots can climb that one rung at a time to oh, score wow. additional points. So the neat thing about these robots is that they're all designed by the students and the signature event is kind of a unique uh, style of event. A normal VEX Robotics tournament would have its you know local and state championship and if they do well there they can advance onto the world championship wow. so this signature event is unique because it's a direct qualifier for the world championship mm -hmm. the students get to play on a grand stage and i can't think of a more grand stage than the alaris center in grand forks yeah so we just want to showcase the students talent and the College of Engineering Minds, the University of North Dakota, is excited to recognize their talent. You know, just like a regular sports team, mm -hmm. if they do well at their state championships or they get to the playoffs, they play in the big domes. Yeah. And they have great talent, and so do the student competitors here in the VEX Robotics competition at the Alara Center. Uh, we're just celebrating their accomplishments, their achievements, and giving them a big stage, a big arena to showcase. And of course, the College of Engineering is excited to you know, show them what we have to mm -hmm. offer and say, hey, if you like doing this at the high school level, you could continue doing it. And that's a big important piece because we need more engineers and technicians in this world. Yes, absolutely. What a fun opportunity. So how did you get involved, Killian? What's your company's connection? Yeah, so um, my company, Bifrost, we do advanced manufacturing and engineering. So we are heavily involved in 3D printing and robotics, mm -hmm. and also it's a new technology. And a lot of our team members are UND students or graduates who come mm -hmm. from this background of competing in robotics competitions and like rocketry clubs and stuff like that. So. Uh, we really see the value of putting back into these events and bringing up the next generation of engineers to, you know, do what we do. Yeah, this definitely is kind of a great experience. So, Brian, in the Dean of College of Engineering Minds, I'm assuming that's why UND also wanted to sign on. Can you tell me about that relationship? Sure. Um, <clears throat> our mission as a college is to produce the scientists and engineers that our economy needs. Mm -hmm. And as the world becomes more technical, the demand for scientists and engineers just continues to grow. We hear from employers every week mm -hmm. who need more scientists and engineers. And our mission is to go into the middle schools, the high schools, expose students to potential careers and all the fun things they can do as, as an engineer and produce all of those technical people that the world needs. Yeah, absolutely. Well, like we mentioned, this definitely sounds like a ton of fun. Can the public get in to watch this event? Absolutely. The, uh, there's no cover charge. Admission is free. It's open to the public. Come on out. We would love to have people there. Uh, and then a uh, side note, we're also doing a BattleBots competition in parallel with this tournament. So on, on the Saturday of the event, uh, there's going to be this cage where the robots are going versus each other mm -hmm. and we have these one pound and three pound weight classes and that's something that's new to this area and we're pretty excited to bring those guys on board and you know introduce that to the VEX Robotics community and introduce that to the public as well. Uh, so if you ever watch the show BattleBots Okay, fun. Yes. yes. I've seen clips of that, I think. <laughs> yes. So we're going to have our own little version of the, the BattleBots uh, going on at the same time. Mm -hmm. Pretty exciting. 
Okay, well, so much fun. Thank you all so much for being here this yeah, morning. We appreciate it. Um, just one quick piece. I'd like to thank all the sponsors yes. that made this possible. Uh, the registration for the event is free because okay. of the sponsors like Bifrost, DigiKey, and Border States Electric, the EAPC, and Young Manufacturing. So it's a great opportunity for these students to learn because of our sponsors. And also, I can't uh, I have to thank the uh, College of Engineering and Mines as well. So it's going to be a great event. Yes, it takes a village, huh? Yes. Well, wonderful. Thank you guys for being here this morning. Again, we appreciate it. And everybody at home, stick around. We have more North Dakota today coming right up for you after the short break.